Okay, guys. Now let us look for another problem of epistasis. We have solved two problems of epistasis. Now let us talk about the double dominant epistasis. Uh, no, let's talk about the dominant recessive epistasis problem. Double dominant we don't require. Now let's look at the dominant recessive. epistasis and dominant recessive epistasis let's uh, we have discussed it earlier now let's just look at the problem and uh, discuss it then now uh, sometimes the coat color in cattle may be controlled by both dominant and recessive gene dominant recessive epistasis means uh, two genes will be there one will be dominant and one will be recessive and both of them will be epistatic now look at the problem and then you can give uh, get some idea about it okay so caps B is dominant over small b, contributing to the black and white color. So black color is caps B, dominant over white color, which is small b in cattle. So it is in cattle. Okay. Now, again, white coat color and black coat color. Okay. And caps C is dominant over small c contributing the gray and white coat color so gray coat color white coat color again small c okay so both of the genes black and gray so b and c both type of the genes are Responsible for the coat color of the cattle. Caps B black coat color, small b white coat color. Caps C gray coat color, small c white coat color. Now, now here, caps C is dominant over small c, and small c is the epistatic gray and white small, and both of them, this caps C and small c, both of them are epistatic gene here. Okay, so remember in case of recessive epistatic, we are, have only the small c to be epistatic, but here both of them are epistatic. Now that's why the name comment dominant recessive epistatic. Because this is cap c is the dominant epistatic, small c is a recessive epistatic. But both of them will control the activity of caps b and sm uh, caps, uh, small b. Okay. So when small c, small c together are present, they will bring about uh, also the same black coat color okay when uh, two C's are present they also bring the same black coat color okay okay so what is going to be uh, the ratio here for phenotypic expression so again We'll be crossing here like that. Caps B, caps B, caps C, small c into caps B, caps B, caps C, small c. Now, important concept about this question is that the only way of getting the white coat color. Now, remember one thing is told by the question that whenever these genes are present, the small c, two small c's are there. Whenever two small c's are there it is giving the black so the small c is recessive epistatic cap c is a dominant epistasis so whenever there is two small c it is giving us mm, the white coat uh, so whenever two small c's are there it is giving us black coat color instead of white why because two small c's are expressing white but actually they are epistatic by this gray or cap C, so this is giving us a black. So the way of giving, uh, the way of getting the black coat color is more than the way of getting other coat colors. So again, if I do this cross and get the results, so what will be the results? We are having black. So black is to white, and again, gray is to white. The ratios are always like 3 to 1 because again heterozygous cross. So again we are having black gray, gray white, 9 is to 3. Then again black white, 
वाइट वाइट सो इफ दिस इज द केस देन वॉट विल बी द फिनोटिपिक रेशियो ब्लैक ग्रे मीन्स वी आर हैविंग दिस ब्लैक एज वेल एज ग्रे सो इट इज गिविंग एज द ब्लैक कलर ब्लैक कोट कलर ग्रे एंड व्हाइट दैट मीन्स वी आर हैविंग कैप्सी एंड स्मॉल सी सो वी आर हैविंग बोथ द एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ दिस टू नाउ द ओनली वे ऑफ हैविंग द एपिस्टेटिक इफेक्ट इन डोमिनेंट रिसेसिव एपिस्टेसिस इज वेन द कैप्सी एंड स्मॉल सी इज प्रेजेंट टूगेदर सो इफ वी आर हैविंग दिस थिंग और स्मॉल सी स्मॉल सी वी डोंट हैव एन एपिस्टेटिक इफेक्ट we only have an epistatic effect when cap c is present with small c because this is dominant recessive type of epistasis this is the most important point of this type of uh, problems dominant recessive epistatic problems the only way of getting the expression or or having the effect of epistatic that means the suppression of other genes by this gene can be obtained whenever we are getting the expression of both cap c small c this heterozygous content so whenever we getting this will be having the epistatic event whenever we getting both cap c's and both small c's the effect will simply have no epistatic effect and it will be dominant over by the black so it will giving us black all the time the only way it will give us other or white when we are having both cap c and small c because this is dominant recessive epistasis so this is the important point in case of dominant recessive epistasis the only way of getting the epistatic effect is the presence of both dominant and recessive uh, genotypes or the heterozygous so here in the gray white content here in this content we are having uh, so getting this gray means cap c and white means small c right so this so this is going to be uh, the uh, only way of expression of white so this is going to be white but now here we are having white white so that means this is not going to express any epistatic condition so this is again going to tell us give us black black white is again is going to give us black so both the three ways this one this one and this one are going to give us black so ultimately the black phenotype is going to be 30 uh, sorry yes 13 and c is giving us white so the white is going to be 3 so the phenotypic ratio is black is to white equals 13 is to 3 this is going to be the ultimate result of this kind of dominant recessive epistasis okay okay so whenever you have in trace of black with gray black black with white black then we are having gray with white and this is the only way of getting white because we don't have any trace of black and again white and white is giving us uh, expression of black because the small c will not express this caps b Uh, because this is the recessive epistasis presence of cap c will have a dominant effect on to it and cap c is giving us a gray and that's why we giving we are getting the white okay uh, so this is the ratio thank you